Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakaq, Kudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sid Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, it says Baltimore has highest homicide rate of U.S. big cities. Okay, this article, okay, they just brought it out September 25th. Okay, and today is the 27th, or it just became the 27th. Okay, it says Baltimore had the worst homicide rate among the nation's 50 largest cities last year and the second highest violent crime rate overall, according to new data from the FBI. The grim news was the latest reminder of the sustained cycle of violence that has gripped the city since 2015, when the annual number of homicides soared above 300 for three consecutive years after the unrest that followed Freddie Gray's death from injuries suffered in police custody. There were 342 homicides in Baltimore last year, 56 per 100,000 people were who live in the city. That's the highest per capita in the city's history. And according to FBI report Monday, the highest rate of any American city with more than 500,000 people. It's also significantly, significantly higher than the rate in other big cities. Sometimes it does seem, I won't say hopeless, but there are neighborhoods that are crying out, said Councilman John Bullock, whose west and southwest Baltimore district has seen some of the worst violence. And, uh, you know, that's true. A lot of it is going on over there in that, you know, over west and uh, southwest. Okay, it says, um, Mayor Catherine Pugh, said to Tuesday that she has been attempting to curb the killings by attacking the root causes of poverty and lack of opportunity that fuel the violent drug trade. So far this year, the number of killings is down 15% from last year. Our effort to reduce violent crimes are producing clear rates, Pew said. Crime is declining in every category. Pew said even greater gains have been recorded in neighborhoods she has tagged as part of a violence reduction initiative. Some areas receive a surge of city's resources ranging from fixing streetlights to employment services. And, you know, I live here in Baltimore, and um, this place is really, really, really trash. Okay? There's really um, nothing for a lot of these people out here to do. Okay. Um, and it's not, they're not doing nearly enough, you know, for anything in this, this city. Okay. It says, we are not satisfied and are determined to reduce crime and violence much more. One murder in Baltimore is one murder too many, but I am convinced that by addressing the root, Causes that give rise to hopelessness, right? Because it's a lot of hopelessness out here in this city, and eventually to criminal activity, we will make Baltimore safer for all residents. Okay? Let me get a scripture Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. And it's a lot of so called black on black crime. Here in uh, Baltimore, okay, and a lot of people don't understand why these neighborhoods are crying out in the first place, okay. When you look at the homicides per hundred people, okay, Baltimore, a hundred thousand people, I should say, Baltimore is double that of Chicago, okay. Uh. 16 more than um, Detroit, okay? And this is um, from 2017, okay? It's not even including this year, okay? Because this year they had a, a couple killings here also, okay? 
It says, so far, there have been 216 homicides. Well, God was just saying that, and, and <laughs> that's the spirit that is just, you know, you see that right there, 216. It says, uh, Republican Governor uh, Larry Hogan called the FBI data shocking and disappointing, but it doesn't come as a complete surprise. And they might uh, bring uh, martial law, okay, to Amer um, uh, Baltimore, you know, because of a lot of uh, the craziness, which is going to happen. Martial law is coming to um, America, okay, Jacob's trouble. Okay, it says, um, going back to Deuteronomy 28 and 54, and toward the wife of his bosom, because this is one of the things that, um, that happens out here also. You got these deadbeat, uh, uh, fathers, okay, or, 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 um, these domestic cases, and you got a lot of women, okay, who are, ended up dying in this city, okay, and, and, and men dying because of these women. Okay, these women out here are setting these, uh, men up. Okay. It says, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. It's a lot of deadbeat fathers out here in Baltimore. Okay. You got little uh, children, you know, who, who are in elementary school out here wiping uh, windows off for money, you know, on the streets. And it's like, why is this little child out here wiping windows off? Okay, he can't even get the whole window. He can't even get the top of the window. Be out there wiping the window, you know, for some money in the middle of the street. Okay, but a lot of people out here don't don't see a problem with that. Okay, it says violence in Baltimore is something we've been focused on from day one. We just we've just we just passed some tough. New crime laws that are going to take effect October 1st. Tougher sentences for people who commit gun crimes. Tougher sentences on repeat violent offen offenses. I've been criticizing judges for lenient sentences and letting repeat violent offenders out. And there's a lot of um, violent offenders out here <laughs> in Baltimore, man. That, that I, I know people that, you know, kill people, murder people. Okay, and they're out here on on the uh, streets, man. Okay, violent offenders, man. Okay, it says despite this year's decline, the governor the governor calls crime in Baltimore a problem that's not going away, and it's not going away. Okay, not until you how about some y'all side. Okay, returns. Okay, it says the city's the city got to invest more the mayor got to be more focused we're going to continue to back them up as much as we possibly can okay and I'm going to continue on and get a scripture Revelation uh, 21 and uh, uh, 7 he that overcomes so inherit all things and I will be his God and he shall be my son Okay, and this this the thing like a lot of um a lot of people uh in Baltimore they don't have no faith. Okay. People out here don't have have faith, okay? Cuz if they did, they wouldn't be doing the stuff that they did. Okay? But a, a man that's that's in the truth is not going to be out here, okay, murdering and and doing, you know, the wicked shit that these people out here are doing. It says, but the fearful, right, you get the word fearful, timid or fearful, faithless, because uh, a lot of these people are, are, are fucking cowards out here, man, okay, yeah, they may talk tough, but they really fucking cowards, man, okay, niggas don't know how to fucking fight. Okay, don't even know how to swing a punch. It says, and unbelieving. So a lot of people out here in Baltimore that are, you know, unbelievers. Okay. And uh, abominable. A lot of fucking, uh, you know, LGBT community out here. It says, and murderers. Okay. And that's what that article is talking about, murderers. 
It says, and whoremongers, okay, niggas out here, you know, just, you know, basically on some hitting hit and raw and, uh, and dipping type of shit, man, okay? A man who prostitutes his body to another's lust for hire. A male prostitute, a male who indulges in unlawful sexual intercourse, a fornicator, okay, and these niggas uh, 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 have sex with a woman, right, playing these women and trying to make it seem like they 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 actually down for this woman, but the whole time they 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 get it and then they they dip, okay. It says, um, and sorcerers, because a lot of these niggas are into drugs, you know, selling drugs, okay, whether it's weed or, or, or pills, that's a major thing out here, okay, and these are all, you know, reasons and ways why people be getting uh, killed out here in Baltimore, man, okay, it says, and idolaters, right, and all liars, and a, a lot of these niggas be having, you know, fucking tattoos on their, their fucking bodies, you know, probably got one Bible verse on their, their fucking um, body or whatever, which is unlawful to get tattoos, but a nigga get, get a fucking tattoo and uh, try to uh, put a Bible verse on their, on their uh, body as if that justifies what they're doing with their life, you know, but the whole time, you know, if they really listen to what the scriptures say, to say don't don't get you know tattoos or print any markings on you, okay. But these niggas, you know, they'll put a Bible verse on them and then they go do some wicked shit, man. Okay, it says, and all liars so have their part in a lake which burns with fire and brimstone. And that's not talking about uh, when when they end up, um, you know, dying. And, and, and going to a place called hell, okay? America is going to be de destroyed by thermonuclear missiles, okay? It's already fuck. It's already hell in uh in America, okay? It says which is which is the second death, okay? So so America is already hell, okay? But America is going to be set on fire by thermonuclear missiles. Okay, and Baltimore is one of those places, you know, that they have nuclear missiles uh, ain't that. Okay, it says, if elected governor Jealous said he would help bring crime down by funding more violence intervention programs like Safe Streets, which employ ex-offenders to mediate disputes and by providing funds for city police to bolster their homicide investigations, New York has brought has brought crime substantially by scaling up violence intervention programs. So, by the time they try to fix Baltimore, it's going to be too late, man. Okay. This, 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 um, this place cannot, uh, be healed, okay. Uh, Jeremiah fifty one and nine. We would have healed Babylon, right? We, you know, if we could, if we could have, right? We would have, you know, set up a program and all that stuff in order to to, to to try to fix different things in Baltimore. But hey, we can't, we can't do that, man. Okay, it says we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her, basically forget her, and let us go everyone into his own country, for her judgment reaches onto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies, okay? So let forget America and come back into this truth, man, okay? That we are the, 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 the Israelites, the biblical Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man, Okay? Revelation 22 and 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, 
and may enter in through the gates into the city. Okay? And that's how you, 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 you know, go into your own country by keeping the laws that is the commandments. Okay? That, that's in the scriptures. Okay? And having a faith. It says, for without our dogs, so, so who, those people who aren't doing these, these things are, are dogs. Okay? Let's see what this word dog is, which another word for dog is a, a, a bitch. Okay? It says, a man of an impure mind. An impudent man, okay, a, a hound, okay, there's a lot of impure niggas out here, man, okay, it says, and sorcerers, okay, these, it's always a nigga, hey, I got that weed out, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loves and makes a lot. Okay? So if you're not doing what's in these scriptures, then you of the you of the wicked that's gonna be destroyed, man. Okay? The scriptures say that 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 those who, who you know are doing those things, they so have their part in a lick of fire, man. Okay. So you know it's it says that um You know, Baltimore is, is uh, what, is it, what does it say, it has the highest homicide rate of U.S. big cities, okay? And and the number one reason is because these people are not keeping the laws, that's what the commandments, okay? The scriptures, then they don't know who the fuck they are, okay? They're just too far gone, okay? So with that, man, I want to say something.